Hi everyone, welcome back to Blue Ridge Survival. Today I'm just doing a kind of cool fishing challenge down at this really small little creek on the edge of our property. So there's some really decent sized fish in them in the creek, but since it's winter, I don't know where they are. But I brought some really weird baits and I guess we'll just have to figure out what's in there. We've got a really big gorge to climb down here. That's our creek and that's the creek we're fishing in. But this gorge is really steep, so it's kind of deadly. Yeah, kind of dangerous. You have to know how to get down it. Yeah, guys, this is not that real cool because this is the line that goes into that big creek. For bait today, I brought some pretty average kind of stuff, except so I trout brought magnets. trout magnets. I brought something really weird, which is shrimp, just for a kind of bait. And if we're looking for worms, there's a lot around here that so we can find some. So here's our first pool. We're gonna just basically start here and work our way all the way downstream. I know there's a really cool deep spot farther down that will hit later on. So we're gonna start here, cast a few lures, maybe spend about five minutes. Nothing here, we'll move down. So if I drop my bait in right there. You can see the fish down there. Those ones are all really tiny. Not gonna be much of an actual catch, but I run a somewhat decent sized hook on this, so I don't think they're gonna be able to bite it. Let's move down, there's not really anything up here. I know, I saw that guy. He's a big one. Like, probably four inches long. Yeah. Yeah. My hook is a little bit oversized, but this is really just. These guys are really, you get them on really quick, but they don't stay on the hook very much. Like, I'm gonna call out down there. Can't quite see. <gasps> yes! Oh, did you see that? I got one on. Where's Ben? He's down there. He went down soon with one. He said he's looking for the big guys. Dang it, did you see that? Yeah. I on camera. Just tied my shell. These yeah. ones I'm getting are small though. Whoa, yeah, that I saw that. That, that was, was a, so tiny. That was a nice one. There you go. I'm not staying on the hook. Though. Again. Yes! No, he got away. Get after him. Oh, yes! Got one. He was very tiny. He's the first fish of the day. A little red line darter. See him? That's like a 10 pounder. Yeah, I know. It's like the biggest. That's the biggest fish you've Honestly, ever caught. Honestly, if though. I, if I'm being realistic, it's probably the biggest red line daughter I ever caught, and that would be true because I. No, that's the biggest. They don't fish get very big. Caught. See you later, buddy. Well, that was a good little fish. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oh, well, something a bit bigger, even if it's a crawl bag. Crawl bags are kind of like that. But they don't get hooked. Whoa! Drop on the bank. Fish number two, and he's another dink, even smaller than the last one. These things will get tiring and catch them this much. Why? I'm aiming for a chub. 
I caught two already, but they're really, they were really pretty small. They're small. That spot's chock full of fish, and they're all these. There's another one. We've already caught three. Oh, oh he got away. I'm just wiggling. There's another red liner. Caught another one. Oh, uh, no, he came off. There he is. And he's. Oh, wow, that's actually a really big Can boat. I see Joe? Can you catch one Welcome more. Welcome the camera, see Joe. There's another little red line darter. These They're things are letting um, very wiggly. He's more wiggly than a worm. Go. There he goes. So, unfortunately, my camera died right after that shot. So, I guess that's going to be all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.